What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back here for another video. Hope everybody had a safe and happy new year. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review here on the Yeti Loadout Go Box. Uh, one of the previous videos that I did uh, on how I set up my truck. Uh, during that video I did comment on there. Uh, comment down below if you guys wanted to see a full review on this box and um, did get a lot of comments on that and had people reaching out to me asking some questions on it so I figured I'd go ahead and do a full thorough, thorough review on this and what I think of it and how I use it and set it up. Uh, what this is, like I mentioned, this is a Yeti loadout go box. Uh, this is what they call the 30, the 30 liter. Um, this is 14.8 inches long. Uh, it's like 11.6 inches deep and 11.1 inches tall weighs about 11 and a half pounds and uh, for me super handy keeps all my coyote hunting gear in one place and one of the main reasons that I like it keeps everything nice tight compact safe and then it's got this nice what they call loadout panel up top but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this so I can show you guys kind of a downward view of it we'll get it set up and I'll go through all the ins and outs of it all right got to move down here what I'm gonna do first uh, before I show you all the contents is just kind of show you an overhead general layout call sets back here chest pack vinyl pack sets right here there's a tray right here that's removable with some storage compartments it's got a handle here in the middle you can see there it's got additional storage down below and in the center here this is a removable divider hopefully you can see that I'll show it here in a little bit but that's a removable divider there. It's also a cutting board. Don't plan to be cutting any coyotes on this cutting board, but I think it's made for uh, fishing and whatnot. But three main compartments up here, one large one, and then two smaller ones on each side. All right, one of the first things I'm gonna show you before I forget are these nice latching handles. You can see this kind of latching system right here. Hopefully that shows up. But whenever you buy this, it actually has a sticker on it that says you need to use force to close these shut. And you can do that. They shut and you can just feel that it's super sturdy. Everything's safe. This is watertight. Uh, so if you throw it in the back of the truck on a rainy night when you're coyote hunting, uh, you know you don't have to worry about anything inside getting damaged. But what I've learned is these are, of course, on a hinge. So if you just push this down, Pull that out. You can see right there, I kind of messed that up because I'm standing to the side, but pull it out and then push it in. It's that easy. So I just want to show you that and how secure and beefy that these are. Yeti's overpriced, Yeti's expensive, but to be honest, it's pretty decent stuff. So we'll dig in here, start going through kind of how I have this set up. First things first. Uh, my Reese Outdoors uh, thermal pistol pack. Got thermal in here, thermal scanner. It's actually over on this side right now. Um, and right back here is just the handgun that I carry on the back at all times. That's got all kinds of good stuff in it, many pockets to use. Then the call sets over here. This just keeps everything in one location. So whenever I get done with a coyote hunt, I know everything's in there. I just take it out of the truck carry it back in. One of the nice things about this side, now this is completely empty. So during a hunt, the call and the chest pack are never gonna go back in here. So I've got this whole side opened up. So if I wanna keep some extra base layers and extra jacket or anything, I can just stuff that in there, latch this back down and know that that's gonna be good to go all night if I need those at any time. And over on this side, I'll just kind of start showing you guys what I have packed in here. This right here is a nice multi-tool, um, just has everything on it. It's made by the company Real Avid. This is everything specifically designed for shotguns and AR-15, AR-10. So that's everything that I need, torque drivers, um, all kinds of bits, different stuff. I'll link this down below um, so you guys can take a look at it there, but that's been real handy for me. And I'll make sure and link the Yeti loadout go box down below as well. So we got the multi-tool. This back compartment is kind of bigger than the front two. A uh, couple boxes of factory ammo I hand load. 
I keep these on me at all times just in case I run out. A couple hand warmers and additional flashlight just for any odds and ends if I might run into something and, and need that. Always have that with me. This right here is a pretty cool little device. I actually need to do a review on this and get that done. This is actually a thermal imager that plugs in to your cell phone. Uh, keep an eye out for a review on that in the future. This thing's gonna be pretty handy. Uh, my main headlamp that I wear, like I say, I open this thing up. Everything that I need on that night is in here. So this goes on my head and it doesn't stay in the box. A couple extra batteries for the call or the remote. This here is some additional hand loads thrown in this little zipper pouch. Uh, extra magazine, just in case main magazine fails for any reason. Super cold nights, this is an electric hand warmer. Uh, if I wear my sick of fanatic jacket, it's got that kangaroo pocket in the front. I can throw this in there, pretty much warms up the whole pack, the whole pocket. Pretty nice little device there. And then just a simple Leatherman multi-tool. Um, we'll take this tray out and I'll kind of show you guys what's in here. This, this side is just kind of a catch-all. Right now, uh, just got some additional gloves in here. Got a pair of Sika gloves. In here lately, hate to tell you guys because I know you'll probably be upset, but I kind of just been doing some quick nights out, um, some coyote hunting taking some new faces with me, haven't been recording. And whenever I'm doing that, I run this type of harness. Um, really like this setup, hang the remote off one side. My scanner stays in front of me. I actually don't wear my full size vinyl harness whenever I'm not recording. Uh, I got an extra toboggan beanie, just in case. Um, additional pair of gloves. And this right here, this is a Kafaru uh, pull-out bag, zipper bag. What's in here is an extra large battery pack. Hopefully that shows up okay. Extra large battery pack with all the chargers that I need for the scanner, uh, the call, and Thermion, the thermal scope. So that's with me at all times. Plus, when I'm done, I know that all my chargers are in this bag. Pull it all out, charge everything up, then I'm good to go for the next night. Nothing worse than wanting to go hunting, and for some odd reason, you forgot to charge everything. All right, I got a little better lighting on here so I can go over the actual loadout panel. This in here is held in by some really sturdy uh, Velcro, and it's got three main compartments, the large one on the top, like I mentioned, and the two side ones. Just some various things in here. Uh, this is my over the shoulder double drag from Coyote Cords. Coyote Cords is an awesome company. Um, they make some great stuff. Really helps me pulling out doubles in the field. A couple extra fat guy snacks, just in case you get a little hungry on an all night hunt. Good old pack of dude wipes, in case you need to clean some blood off or drop a deuce, whatever's going on. And just a backup lanyard. I don't really ever use this one anymore, um, but it's nice to have in there just in case somebody else needs one. That's it for that. Get into this side here. Not a whole lot going in here. Uh, Keep a homemade howler that one of my buddies made a long time ago, uh, just in case the call dies and I'm far from home and want to keep hunting. Um, I also have some extra calls in my uh, chest pack as well. I uh, use a mouth diaphragm quite a bit, uh, but that's in there. And then up top, uh, this will usually go with me, but it's just an extra battery for the Thermion. I also have extra batteries, of course, in the chest pack. And over here is just an additional super bright uh, Phoenix headlamp. Just in case I need that, my main one dies or one of my buddies forgets theirs or whatever reason. Yeah guys, that's it. That's kind of a quick rundown on this Yeti 
loadout go box. Uh, super handy for me, like I keep mentioning. Keeps everything in one spot. You know, I have different things, different totes or whatever for deer hunting, different totes for turkey hunting. This right here is easy to grab by one handle. Even when it's fully loaded, grab by one handle. I can carry this up the stairs, out to the truck, put it in the back. Whenever everything's in there fully loaded, nothing really rattles around. And the tray side, this kind of pushes down on top of there. So even if it is tilted over, none of that's gonna dump, dump out or anything like that. It's got some spots here on the side. You can see some eyelets right here, reinforced with some metal inside. Uh, you can put some padlocks on this. Uh, probably bear proof or whatever they claim, but I just need it to be waterproof. I'm not out there to hunt any bear or anything. Like I mentioned, this is removable, so you can have one full storage compartment on the side. I like to use it, keep things divided. One side for certain things, one side for the other. Just gives it more versatility, I think. But yeah, quick rundown. Um, glad to share it with you guys. Um, like I say, been kind of getting out, running and gunning a little bit, not videoing a whole lot, but gonna get back into it and bring you guys some content because I know you guys been missing it and I kind of miss sharing it. So we'll get back into it. If you guys have any questions on this at all, don't hesitate to comment down below and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Happy hunting, be safe, see ya, bye.